In this section, I'm going to talk about capital budgeting problem, which is another typical problem that people model into a linear programming. In this problem, a decision maker wants to make decisions such that his or her financial situations becomes optimal. Star Oil Company is considering five different investments. We can see in the table that each investment has its own cash outflow in time zero and time one. Outflow means that um, these numbers are the amount of money that you have to pay at time zero and time one for each investment. And then for each investment, the table also shows the NPV, the net present value. Um, it says that Star Oil Company may purchase any fraction of each investment. So for example, if you purchase um, one fifth of investment three, then the cash outflow is multiplied by one over five, cash outflow at time zero, time cash outflow at times one also is multiplied by one over five, and then the NPV is also multiplied by one over five. So you can purchase a fraction of the investment. And finally, the objective of this problem is that Star Oil wants to maximize the NPV that can be obtained from all those five investments. As usual, I suggest you to pause the video and read the problem carefully. So in this problem, we would like to maximize the NPV. And we see in the table that each investment gives us a particular value of NPV. However, remember that we may decide not to buy the entire investment. For example, previously we say we only purchase one fifth of investment tree, such that if we do that, the NPV is also multiplied by one fifth. One fifth times 16 becomes 3.2 million dollars. Therefore, the objective function says that our total NPV from this all investment come from investment one, 13 million dollars, times how much we invest on investment one. By how much here, I mean what is the fraction of investment one that Star Oil purchases. And then 16 times x2, 16 comes from the, um, the whole NPV of investment 2. But then we should multiply it by the fraction of investment 2 that we decide to buy. Such that the definition of the decision variables becomes like this. xi is the fraction of investment i purchased by Star Oil. Fraction. So fraction can be a half, a third, one-fifth, and so on. If we do not have any limitation, then we can just invest in all those five investments, right? However, that is not the case in this problem. In this problem, Star Oil has only $40 million at time zero and $20 million at time one. So we must make sure that our cash outflow at time zero must not exceed $40 million, and our cash outflow at time one must not exceed $20 million. So first, let's take a look at time zero. Whatever we do at time zero, the outflow or the money that we spend must not exceed $40 million. So the right-hand side says that we must not exceed $40 million. The left-hand side says um, the cash outflow that happens at time zero. We spent $11 million times how much we invest at investment one. Plus we need to spend $53 million times how much we spend on investment two and so on. Whatever we do here on the left-hand side must not exceed $40 million. The same thing for time one, 
whatever we spend must not exceed $20 million. How much do we spend at time one? We will spend $3 million times X1 because X1 is the fraction of investment one that we purchase. So if we purchase one, the entire investment one, then we will spend $3, $3 million, I mean. If we purchase only half of investment one, then we will spend three times a half. Okay, so this X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5, they are fractions of investment that we purchase. And finally, we add these constraints saying that we may purchase X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5 at most one unit. So we can purchase the fraction of each investment. We can purchase zero, which means we do not purchase an investment, but we cannot purchase more than one unit of that investment. So that is the meaning of this um, constraints in the yellow box. And then do not forget to add the sign restrictions, which means that we cannot purchase a negative number of an investment. So this is the complete formulation for the example of project selection in Star Oil Company. So I will give you a question to check your understanding. So given the formulation and the optimal solution, how do you interpret the optimal solution? I will give you the answer after the pause of the video. So the optimal solution says that for investment 1, 3, and 4, we purchase 100% or the whole investment of them. So 100% of investments 1, 3, and 4, we purchase them. But for X2 and X5, it means that we only purchase a fraction of investment 2, 0 0.201, and then we also purchase a fraction of investment 5. 0.288 such that our total NPV from this optimal decision is uh, 57.449 million dollars. So that's the end of this section and see you in the next one. Thank you.